Good evening. It's Tuesday, June 25, 2019, here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim, and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. A cargo ship capsized past four this afternoon at the SEDC port in Barangay South Poblacion in San Fernando Town in southern Cebu. All 12 crew members of the MV Eva Mary Grace are now safe. The Maritime Industry Authority said the crew members were loading cement into the ship when waves hit the vessel, causing it to list and then capsize. A crew member who was operating the crane lifting the bags of cement was left inside the vessel when it sank, but was later rescued and rushed to the nearest hospital for treatment. The Coast Guard Central Visayas immediately deployed its quick response team to the area. The Naga Coast Guard also rendered immediate assistance. Public utility buses and minibuses will soon return to Natalio Bacalso Avenue after two years of plying the South Road properties in Cebu City. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. The chairman of Cebu Provincial Operators Transport, Julie Flores, said public utility buses and minibuses will be returning to the main thoroughfares of Natalio Bacalso Avenue. Flores said the Cebu City government has allowed them to conduct a dry run on the Mambaling underpass on Friday, June 28, after he asked City Councilor Dave Tumulak for it. Buses and minibuses were rerouted to South Road properties to give way for the construction of the 700 million underpass project. Flores said at least 300 buses and minibuses were affected by the detour. With the opening of the underpass, Flores said aside from operators, drivers, and passengers will also benefit from the return of buses on Natalio Bacalso Avenue. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. The Cebu Provincial Police Office has a new chief after CPPO Director Manuel Abrujena was reassigned to the National Capital Region Police Office. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. Senior Superintendent Manuel Abrujena formally turned over his post as Cebu Provincial Police Office Director to his classmate, Police Colonel Roderick Mariano, in a ceremony held at CPPO grounds this morning. Abrujina and Mariano will switch post as Abrujina is expected to be the chief of the Presidential Philippine National Police Security Force Unit in National Capital Region Police Office. Mariano previously held the NCR position. Abrujina said he is certain that Mariano will continue his works at the CPPO. Aside from their agreement to continue their No Let Up campaign against illegal drugs and No Let Up campaign against rogues in uniform. Abrujina will still oversee the ongoing investigation of high-profile cases he failed to resolve during his incumbency. Mariano, for his part, promised to sustain whatever good programs the CPPO has implemented. He said he will be particular with the community policy and implemented peace and order in the province. The new Cebu Provincial Police Director urged his men to work as a team and continue President Rodrigo Duterte's directive to fight illegal drugs and all forms of criminalities. Chari Coronel, Newsbits Tonight. Craving Lechon? The famous Lechon House in Cebu will open its flagship outlet this Friday, June 28, in Mandawe City. Here's Romain Rivera for the details. Rico's Lechon will open its second branch in Cebu this coming Friday in Mandawe City. The 500-square-meter branch is also the biggest among all branches of Rico's. Meat Concepts Corporation, the company that operates Rico's Lechon, will also reopen the brand's Axis Entertainment Avenue Iscario branch on July 28, 2019. This after George Pua, the president of Meat Concepts Corporation, said they will apply for a business permit from the Cebu City government on July 1. Cebu City Mayor-elect Edgar Labella said no special treatment will happen in the application of business permits. Labella said he will find out whether the establishment can comply with the requirements provided under the ordinance and regulation of the city. Branches of Rico's Lechon were closed in 2017 by the local government of Cebu City for failure to secure a business permit. Romaine Rivera, Newsbits Tonight.
Here's the latest in sports with Kenneth Torres. The victorious Chino Sitan Conchon of Davao City won a gold medal for the Philippines, while his teammates added one gold, two silvers, and a bronze in the just-concluded second Southeast Asia Sambo Championships at Aston Tropicana, Kota, Bandog, Indonesia. Tan Conchon, a UST Judo varsity player, defeated his Indonesian opponent Fauji Rizki in the men's sports Sambo 82 kilograms best of three finals with an eight point and an inner leg throw in their first and second encounters respectively. After his triumph, the six foot one champion is uncertain where he would be competing next. He might be seeing action with his sister Sydney in the World Masterships in South Korea or straight to Southeast Asian Games which the country is host on November 30 to December 11. His father, Paolo Tanconshan, praised his son's talent saying Chino is a hard-working man. Meanwhile, Filipinos Patrick Manikad also clinched a gold while Helen Aklopen and Jed Andre Kim bagged silvers and Patrick Dos Santos brought home a bronze. Several delegations like Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, Thailand and Myanmar also vie for honors in the tournament. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.